Hello there, SrxR here. And exactly three years ago, I got my new, or I got my Coleman CT200U. And exactly one year ago, I did my, uh, my Coleman CT200U review. And that was stupid because I was, because I was younger and I was retarded and I didn't know any specs about it or anything. I just said, oh, it's cool, it fits me. Okay, so, Let's get started. Okay, so this is the Coleman CT200U. Uh, it's got a 200cc, 6.5 horse lawnmower engine on it. Uh, it's got a 1 gallon gas tank. I think these are... I mean, I don't know what size tires these are. I can't see it because I just went mudding the other day. But, uh... You can get one of these for around five hundred dollars, or yeah, five hundred or six hundred for the camo version. This this version's like camo red and stuff. But oh, uh, some people are talking. Okay, so I've had this main bike for three years, and it's been holding up to all the abuse I've put it through and everything. It's a great mini bike. I love it. It's really fun. It's worth the money too. Okay, so this black strip on here is just duct tape. I put that on a long time ago. Okay, but uh, so things that I've had to replace on this are the the throttle. It was like slipping, so I had to. I, all you have to do is glue that on in there, and then it's good. And then uh, I put a brand new throttle cable on it just a few weeks ago because mine snapped. That was like two dollars. And then I have to always adjust these brakes because when they get wet, you got to readjust them. But that's no problem. I've also had to replace the back tire. This is a this tire doesn't come on it. That's a knobby tire that I put on it a few uh, like a few months ago. And also, uh, I've had to put I've had to put a. Uh, uh, now let me get the. Here, sorry. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I had to, I stripped the spindle in there, right there. And so I had to buy a new one of those. That was like, I don't know. And then, that's basically it. And so crashes, I've never really crashed this thing. The worst crash it's been is my friend Jake. He rammed it into a tree, and the front fork bent into the frame and the uh, engine right there. And uh, this, so we had to weld back the front fork. So that's why this is a different color, kind of. And there's also this metal piece right here. And another thing is, that was the worst crash it's ever been in. Another thing is, uh, I have to weld, I've had to weld that fender on a couple of times. It, it'll break off because there's no suspension. So try and keep your tire low back there. Okay, so some cons to this is it has no suspension. Uh, the brakes kind of wear out every once in a while. And uh, so this right here, as you can see, says hot. It has like a hand and a thing hot thing that gets hot that's the exhaust like you can straight pipe it but then it'll make it really really loud I'm gonna do that soon and uh, I've I've had it for a pretty long time and it's it's a great mini bike I'm 4 7 and I'm flat-footed on it I'm flat-footed so it's it's so it's not a mini it's like not small but it's still a mini bike and it's great in the mud. It's, it has so much torque. Like, I can't even explain the tor amount of torque that it has. It'll go up any hill that you throw at it. And also, uh, it's, uh, it'll only, I mean, it'll only go 25, but that's, that's enough speed to get you where you want to go. And, like, it's pretty fun. But the amount of torque is what I really like about it. It'll go up any hill. It's got a, it's got drum brakes on it. And it also has a clutch, but there's no gears on it. It's just pull the throttle. Okay, so how you start it up is uh, 
you turn on the kill switch right there so that up is on down is off you turn it on and then down here you got to turn on the uh the choke i always leave the fuel on you can turn the fuel off when you're not using it but i don't really understand the point and then you just pull it i like pulling it to there and then since i'm small i put my uh foot right there on the uh on the frame and then i'll jerk back but i can't start it right now because it fell over the other day and it flooded yes this thing floods very very easily uh it'll it'll flood like like, if it falls over for, like, three seconds, it'll flood and it'll blow a bunch of smoke out of the side. And then it won't start for, like, three days. So, like, it, the, the uh, cable's locked up right now, so you can't turn it on. But this motor that it comes on it, it's very, very good. Some, some of them have Kawasaki motors on them, but some of them have Hondas. This one's a Kawasaki. This motor is very good. This is the original motor that was on it when I bought it. It go, it's been through a bunch of abuse. I was driving down one of the rivers one time and water came up like all the way to the top and it, it stopped itself, it turned itself off. But then uh, I just turned it back, I pushed it out and then I put it on the shore and let it sit for like five minutes and I turned it right back on and it was running again. So it was really good. Maintenance, you don't really have to do a lot to it on maintenance. You just have to adjust those brakes down there. It's got like a lever right there. It's muddy right now because I went mudding. This thing's really good in the mud. It's got these nice utility racks on it. They'll hold a lot of weight. I mean, and you can put a light up here, which I haven't yet, but I'm going to do that. And then you run a cord to the engine right there. It has enough power to produce light or electricity. But uh, I think that might be the conclusion of my Coleman CT Dungeon U review. I mean, not really much else to say, but like, it's a great mini bike. If you're looking to buy one of these, they're really good. I got mine for free because I know a guy who gave it to me brand new. But, uh, well, thanks for watching my review and goodbye.